check out our Native Instruments Machine Micro Instructional DVD series. We cover everything, every feature. You get seven hours of lessons on four DVDs, or you can purchase a download. Check out this video preview. Now I want to look at another technique for mapping. I've got this one sound here, which is this hit raw there, this one sound. And here, we're going to go to mapping right here, and you'll see I have this, this one sample. And it's mapped out over the entire keyboard range, all 88 keys. So from C minus 2 all the way to C sharp 8, which is this keyboard range you see right there. And it's just one sample, as you can see. Nothing else in behind it or in front of it, just that one sample. And so this is the sample we hear. But the original pitch of the sample, as you can see here, what says root is C3, which is the middle of the keyboard. That's the original pitch. So as we play further down it, I'm playing my own keyboard here. What happens is that that same sample is just detuning and detuning down. And here you can see the velocity. It's low velocity is 1, the high is 127. So there's no other keyboard parts taking up other steps within this velocity range. The tuning is set to zero. The gain is zero, so is the pan percentage. So I can tap it softly or hard is just a little louder, but the same sample sound. Now what's going on here now in the track itself is we've got it set up and there's a keyboard part here for it. And I'll turn this reverb off and this beat delay. That's pretty dry right there. Out front but dry. Now we'll add this beat delay. Almost like a little delay there, like a feedback little thing going on. Echoey, but it's in time to the beat. Of course, with the set to 128, it's a beat delay. Now to give it some more length so it extends longer, there's a little reverb on top. And now it's got a little more of that high-end sound that's going to sustain longer. And you can see here, the sample is 1.6 seconds long. That's one and a half, more than one and a half seconds long. So it's making it last a little bit longer with the reverb. And it's a perfect club feel for this particular sample that's been mapped out over the entire keyboard range. And you bring our instruments in here. Look at the bass line. Now look at the bass line, it's just compressed, that's all it is. But the bass here is the original pitch of this sound. Supposedly here is E flat one, you see that? But we made sure the pitch here, its root is gonna be C. And that way this deep bass sound is still C, but it gives a nice deep dark color to this bass. And the same setup for the velocity as well, and the tune and gain and pan. And now we'll press play. And pull the drums in. So it gives a nice feel to it. And that's just one note mapped out over a keyboard.